thing I need don't always work though, so don't try them. Don't try using them, I would suggest. Speak of the devil. That light means we're in the ID security air check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. Anyhow, we're almost back. That's a relief. Yep, and now if you try and walk out, Barrett's gonna talk. Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no night or day. If that plant weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? I never expected to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's cause of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Dunno. Nope. Probably cause they ain't got no money. Or well, maybe. Cause they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. I honestly really doubt that second possibility. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run to anywhere except where its rails take it. Now, here's something that I really dislike. Cloud, he acts much differently in the original Final Fantasy VII game, this one, than he acts in Advent Children and all the other ones, all the side stories. Except for Crisis Core, I don't think it's that much different if I remember correctly. But people always stereotype him as an emo that always blames himself for everything, and in the original game, that's not how he acted. At least not most of the time. So, that's something stupid I kind of thought. It seems like he acts way different in Advent Children. Or at least way worse. Yo, get over here, Aldia. This mission was a success. But don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Me back to the hideout. Move out. Okay, we'll just run along. Over to this area and... Uh, here's a save point. You can go ahead and save if you want. I'm going to try to avoid doing so during recording, so... Uh, unless I'm at the end of one, anyway. Hey now. Whoops. Uh, uh, what on earth are you doing? Just... God... Jeez, uh, huh? You came to see it too? There was a bombing on top. If this pillar would sure come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Oh, if this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Having trouble reading all of a sudden. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, look, it's huge, ain't it? And it is a pretty big pillar, as you can tell. That would be one of these support beams for the plate. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want to. Bye, bro. Yo, clown, over here, now. Oh, man, screw you. Uh, the hell do you want? You know who I am? You can't pass. I got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in here. Wow, you're great. Damn right. Don't waste time talking when I... Talking is what I always say. But, uh, I... <laughs> yeah, these guys are kind of funny. Uh, uh, um, excuse me. You cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do a good job this time? You gotta be tougher. 
But, uh, I... Obviously, the guy on the left must be a new soldier or something. What a way to clear a bar. <laughs> Just go in and shoot randomly. Then come out being all friggin' King Kong and beating your chest. <laughs> Little kid jumping. Oh, that's the girl in the right. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say there was a terrorist explosion above, and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what that means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Really? I never would have guessed that. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. A little good. Explosions! Explosions! Oh man! Avalanche is so cool! <laughs> we have fans, obviously. Okay, go on ahead. I'm not gonna say anything else. Not even if I talk to you. You! Cloud! Get off your slow moving ass! Okay. Let's continue onward. Papa! Little kid? And we are not her father. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Childhood friend, this would be Tifa. And if you haven't already guessed, whenever you get to name a character, they're going to join your party. So, yeah. She is one of the characters whose names is going to remain what it is. Because I didn't screw up the translation of this, luckily. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But... A flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. No big. And the funny thing is, you can give it to Marlene right after that. I always thought that was kind of funny. You could just easily give it to Marlene. But I just traditionally give it to Tifa automatically. Always have. I don't know why. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. <laughs> Epicest quote ever. Ah, uh, nothing like that first drink after a job. <laughs> hey, why don't you have one too? Uh, nah. What? You telling me you're too good to drink with me? Don't act big-headed just because you were in Soldier. Uh... Wedge, Wedge, hello, Wedge. Oh, Cloud, Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm -mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. I'm not interested in your stories. About what? Tifa always let me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad. But it's good food and drinks that make this shop famous. And this bar would be known as the Seventh Heaven. Okay. Careless, you're getting all excited. Wonder what for. Um, oh, that's... Not interested this time. <laughs> oh, good get it. Yeah, they're all just gonna repeat what they were saying, so... When you're ready to do stuff, we even... Oh, shit. Act. Papa, welcome home. Obviously, that kid is way too light-skinned to be Barrett's child. Actually, never mind, because I did hear about... hear something on the news one time about a black couple with a completely white-looking child, which was biologically theirs, apparently, and that 
made no sense to me, but eh, weird stuff happens. You all right, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting to meet. Yeah. Okay. Now we can just go straight down, but I think we can anyway. But I'm gonna talk to Tifa first. Just cause. Uh, Sit down. How about something to drink? Uh, give me something. Right. That's what she said. <laughs> just a minute. I'll make one for you. I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That wasn't even a tough job. I guess not. You weren't, soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah. Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Okay, then. Now, go over to this arcade machine just... Uh, examine it. Uh, let's see. Talk to everyone. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb. But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh, no! I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Okay. Apparently we miscalculated. Huh? Can't talk to Biggs as far as I know. It, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. You think I'm a little too uptight? Uh... Nah. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't like it. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart.